Welcome back to a debt repaid. We are <gasps> patiently waiting for guard patrols out here. Come back, or maybe I'm not going to bother waiting. Maybe. Maybe that will just take too long. Since we can go to the training room now, we can go through the training room now, presumably, we have another avenue of approach. Hello, what's this switch here? Aha! Someone keeps a secret ring there, do they? All the doors are so annoying. So where are we? We've just come out of the training room. Interrogations on the right, line up to the left. This room is unlabeled. Both these rooms are unlabeled. That's locked, that one's not. Of course, this is part of the lab. This is the lab room where you actually put people. Something happening in the corner of that room. Event, event, maybe. <clears throat> That's it. Who's walking up and down in there? Just walking around the table. They're interrogating a, sub a suspect, as a guess. Okay. Did I hear footsteps coming from down the hall, or was I just conflating those? I think I did hear footsteps coming down the hall. All right, they're going up around the. Towards the holding cells now. Oh, maybe that's that must be the same guard. They're just on a very long patrol. They're gonna gonna go through all the holding cells and they're gonna come down this hallway again, I think, and then they're gonna go out towards the yard again, something like that. Wait and see. Riveting gameplay. So what else? We don't really have any other rooms to check out here. Well, I want to check out the lineup room, but not while we're waiting for this guy, right? I suppose I can. It's dark enough to wait in here. Go out because I'm not sure how far to hop down the hall I go before turning. And I want to check out what's happening with that air vent. Who's <laughs> well, Obviously, they're in the lineup. Hmm. 
Clunk. Uh -huh. Gas arrows, that's just a leaky steam vent. Yeah. Nothing more. Well, gas arrow could come in very handy. We used one of our gas bombs already. Okay, interrogation one. Nothing going on. I did not see the plaque, and this one's going to say interrogation two, isn't it? Yeah. Plaques need some cleaning. Get some of the junior officers. Put a bit of brass on there. Okay, holy cells, I guess. Might have been skipping some. Just a drunk. They must have moved Garrett to the dungeon. No, no, we already know they moved Garrett to the execution chamber, to the gas chamber. Holding cell log. Brought in drunk, found in the gutter. Gave name as Dolan. Found and released. Captured two housebreakers while attempting entry in Lord Baffert's manor. Gave names as Marcus and Dale. Sent both to dungeons for robbery. Caught a shabby hermit breaking into the opera house. Claims that he's Raoul, the rightful owner. Sent to dungeons for robbery. Sent thief down to dungeons. Confiscated items sent to evidence room for processing. No identification given. Brought drunken Dolan back in, fined and sleeping it off. Caught a thief named Gilland attempting to break into the 18 family estate. Sent to dungeons. You find Dolan twice in one night. Where are you guys? I'd like to let him out, but I might have to wait until we have uh, made sure there's no more uh, people here. All right. Number two, Dolan. Interrogation rooms, okay. Sure, I won't be able to lock pick this right. Yep, okay. Yeah, it's already marked as such. Is this room? Janitor. Oh, yes. That's very welcome. I was running, feeling like I was running a bit short on those. I'm using them sparingly and strategically, but. All right, and this is the portrait we saw, Chef Truitt, overlooking the yard where I marked that guard. Okay. Now what? There's a guard in here. Everywhere else the ground floor is clear, right? There's maybe there's a guard out here, I think. We know there's a guard there, and I think there's guards out here. I haven't found any sign of the weight of the dungeons, which is weird. Like, how do you send them there if you don't have a way to get there? And it kind of leaves me at a loss as to know what to do now. Being able to get to almost nowhere. We need a key for secure storage, we need a key to get to records, we need a key to get to the chief's narcotics from the chief persons. We even need a key just to get between the north the west and east and west sides of the damn place. What am I missing? That's not stairs, that's theirs. Oh, 
maybe we do knock out the front desk. No, oh, just interrogation rooms. Uh, right, we can't go to the front desk from here, we have to go up and around and down and... It's not that hard. <gasps> Wait. No, that takes us to the wrong side. Let's look around. Oh, the training room. Unless we got some roping opportunities here, which doesn't look like it. Go around here. Upstairs here. No. No, no, no. We can get the front desk on this floor. Of course. So if we take out Bunny, the front desk guard, then maybe there's somebody else nearby we can find some keys from. It's kind of a blind hope at this point. Time for them to be recognized. Hey, is someone there? <laughs> Nobody there, Benny. Nobody be there but yourself. Give you your own special spot on the couch here. Feel special. Well, under the couch. I didn't miss any other keys in this room, right? It'd be a good place for people to leave keys on their desks. It really doesn't look like it. All oh, those banners are up down. Kind of pointless there. <gasps> yeah, ducks. There's a city map. <gasps> City map. I guess I didn't check to see if maybe some of these have open up drawers. I don't think so, though. That would be surprising. I think I would have noticed if any of them had lit up. Yeah. Um, hmm. <gasps> There's a light switch, I'm sure. Okay, let's go back to the front desk for a minute. Let's see what's out the front door. Seems very risky. You'd think someone patrolling might notice if the front desk was unmanned. I guess nobody's patrolling into here. Is there clock controls? Banners are not going to be able to deal with. Oh, hello. They can see through those doors. Wow, that echoes a lot. Hello? That's really interesting. Okay, so we've got a door here.
need the key. Ah, oh, man, where are all the freaking keys in this map? Every fucking door needs a key. You're not keeping a set of keys here? I do not understand where all the keys are hiding. I was not really thinking this mission was going to be a wild key case. So where do we even go now? There isn't a guard patrolling there, that's a lie, there's no guard there either, that's just false. I guess I can go upstairs, right? Let me turn around. Locks doors that I can't open. Hmm. Lots of objectives, no absolutely no clue on how to do them. Uh, I'm on this floor right now. I mean, looks wooden. Masters hasn't been working out enough. So this isn't working out. Yeah, I think they disabled breaking down doors because they wanted to make you go through their key hunts. One key at a time. Those don't even look wooden. Well, Janet's just not locked, of course. But Janet needs keys to be able to clean places, right? I should have all the keys. Yep, I'm stuck. Oh. Thank goodness for the new dark un get unstuck key. Um. Yeah, what the hell do I do now? This is actually a really good place to look up the ep to end the episode and go look up a hint if I hadn't run half an hour over time on the previous one. Because I'm going to be like, oh, we're just about at the 15 minute mark. I could kind of do an early episode and then come back with more of an idea of what to do. These ones are not even wooden doors, but the wooden doors do not break, so. I've tried picking all these locks and none of them pick. You must secure storage needed a key. Oh. <laughs> My noise maker. All the police are knocked out, so there's not even any stealth left to do. I mean, there's probably some more down in the dungeons or whatever, but... Nobody here has any kind of key on them. Nobody has seen how to key on their belt. Unless I can reach in here and find another lockpick that I can just grab through the bars, or... Read the book through the bars? Not even that. Barrack head. It's definitely valuables. Taunting me with that stuff. Why do they need a gas chamber and a gallows? Next floor is just a lab, right? Hmm. 
Yeah. I just ran around this floor, right? The top floor was the records. Yeah. Got the steam tunnel key and never found a door for it. Right, so... I guess my celebration when I found the training room key was a little... <gasps> silly, but... Oh, there's that guy patrolling out there. Maybe I should let him see me so he can come and open some doors for me. What the hell do I do? Just look up there, didn't I? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, a gas chamber. Where the hell is the gas chamber? How the hell do these people get anywhere? Where's all, where are all these secret dungeons and gas chambers and whatnot? Where the hell are they? I mean, I could try and... Yeah, let's go around. Let's get that guard riled up and we get flash bombs on my I guess. I've got three flash bombs still. I'm gonna try letting Golan out as well. I mean. Horses? There's no horses in the city. That was definitely a faint clip clopping of. of uh, shoot hooves and. a whinny. Let's see if an arrow softens you up. <laughs> Just in case any of you no! get it. You have keys? No, but you unlocked the door for me. This door's really push. Well, what this does mean is it should... I didn't want to waste two flash bombs there, but whatever. It should make it safe for us to let Dolan out, right? I mean, Dolan's probably going to stay asleep. No more keys. I don't know how they unlock this door, because... Didn't have keys with which to do it. We've still got a couple of guys patrolling the streets, but, uh... Alright, well, what's this Philosopher's Wall? What the hell is Philosopher's Wall? Is that the powder they were talking about? Do I just do cocaine? Just throw it. Yeah, I guess we can have a donut as well. Hmm, those donuts don't seem to be healing. I'm gonna leave them. Alright, um. Holding cells. Around the other side. Goes a long way. Because the short base needs a lot quick we don't have. I mean, I found secrets better hidden than these, you know, less well hidden than these keys. What's the badge number for?
the badge, I don't know. Well, I've got one flash bomb left. You want to turn it? No. Dang it! Look, I'm I'm a, I'm a police. Here's my badge. Ah! Problem is, he unlocked the door and came back out. Ah! And if he locks it again behind him, I can't. He has a key, but I can't get it. It's, it's an internal key. Oh, great, I've got to go all the way around again. Because I feel like I'm wasting my time getting him out of there. Like, it's supposed to just be there for show. Don't have any gas mines, do I? That'd be great. That'd be perfect. Table. Oops. I, Dylan, who confessed to the crime of selling illegal goods, over at a small shop in the market that sells hardware during the day. At night, I use the same shop to sell tools to thieves. I hope that I will receive leniency in exchange for this confession. Really? He's going to sell us out. You. You know what? You're going into this locker. So one is is empty. Where's your confession? There you go. Enjoy. Uh, I'll leave you done up, but no, I'll keep them for myself. Who's there? Don't slouch about in the shadows. Who's there? Come on, wake up. I won't have people lurking about where I can't see them. Who's there? Don't slouch about in the shadows. Huh? <clears throat> right, well, if you don't want to wake up, I won't up. have people looking about where I can't see them. You're free to go out whenever you want to. Mm -hmm. I picked up this mission to play out of quite a long list because I'd heard recommendations that's quite good, or at least that's what my memory says about the recommendations, but it has been. Extremely frustrating so far, and I'm completely out of ideas. All the guards I know about are now asleep. I don't have any doors I can get through, I don't have any ways forward. I'm going to have to look up a clue. This is ridiculously stupid. <sighs> Let's go dunk my head in water. Alright. I'm gonna go look up some kind of uh, clue as to what the hell I can possibly do next. 
Well, okay. I have a hint. I was on the right. Well, it's on the right track. I guess what I'm sort of realized is from the note by the evidence locker is Garrett was in in cell one, as we knew here, right? The thief. Um, stuff sent to the evidence room, and in the evidence room they said, well, he's got a set of lockpicks, but there seemed to be one missing. I'm sort of seeing that there is nearly invisible a lockpick on that shelf. So, I mean, it's like a half moon to me. Both hook. More than a half moon. But that's the third lockpick. Hook tooth lockpick. Okay, so now some of these doors I can start to unlock, I suppose. Still gonna be very annoying because I don't have a hotkey for it. That's the other reason why uh, extra lockpicks are bad. Okay, so that's unlocked. Anything else on this? Yeah, we can go check out robbery and homicide. Okay, so I can maybe make some progress now. Robbery should have records on our friend. It would be much better to start with just one lockpick and let us pick up a standard second one than this third lockpick shenanigans, to be really quite honest. That's robbery, let's check out murder first. Homicide, alright. Don't tell me. Yep. <laughs> Evidence book two. Oh, right. Person said he called the scene of homicide. Witnesses report that Barbara all the night before at Overlord's fancy turned personal. Upon arrival at scene, observed the victim lying in full of blood. Witnesses report that Kern local pickpocket stamped the victim after an argument. 1100 returned to the station, delivered knife from crime team at Overlord's fancy to the lab for testing. 1200 Captain Dietrich called all officers to a meeting. 1330 received different whereabouts of suspect Kern, reportedly hiding from Dayport, informed local authorities. 1500. Returned from Dayport with suspect Kern. As that he is a dangerous man, he's been placed in the dungeon rather than holding cells. pre locked the entrance when completed. 1600. Called to scene at the docks. A single victim found in the water apparently drowned. Possibly related to smuggling activities in the warehouses. Further investigation needed. Wish people would not use this book without making an actual page turn icon so you know when the pages are. A couple of rings, huh? So you know when there are more pages and when there aren't. You relocked the entrance, but where is the entrance that you relocked? I don't know, let's check out robbery now, I suppose. Maybe we can find an evidence book here. Case notes. Recovered stolen drill bits from pawn shop. Bits of high quality diamond drill bits, likely made by the mechanists before the death of Father Karras. These bits are likely highly valuable and would not have been recovered without the aid of our informant. The bits have been sent to the evidence room for safekeeping, but it's unlikely that the rightful owner will come forward. The pawn shop owner was less than forthcoming about the identity of the thief he bought them from. We've placed this shop under surveillance in an attempt to catch the thief when he returns with more stolen goods. Lots of glasses. The short-sighted people, I suppose. No, nothing in here about Garrett. Where's that light up? Or is it just a glitch? Oh, it's just a lighting glitch, I think. And this is more secrets in here, which, you know, who knows, there could be secrets in any of these rooms. Alright, turn the light off, but uh, leave the door open. Okay, those are done. Oh, we can get into the evidence room now. Alright, let's go around to evidence. Okay, this, this. I, don't, I still don't know what half the stuff I picked up is for, but uh, this having this extra lockpick has made all the difference, and I wish it had been a bit more visible. Alright, hello. Secure storage. That's 
very handy. All right, we go back on the uh, hello. Back on the um, what do we call it? The key hunt chain train. Future key hunt train. <laughs> Hello, I can hear somebody else. Okay, that's gonna oh that's the tunnel's key. Okay. The evidence room is how you get to the steam tunnels? So the lab. Hello, someone's got some coins on the windowsill. I was trying to prop a book and picked up a coin by accident. I guess I won't say no to that. Hmm. Wonder what this button does. I have to find a way to turn this on. Why? What for? What what am I even doing here? Marker site. The last for Barrack. Citywide Crime Laboratory. Official notebook. This property book is property of Dr. Maximilian Cook. Table of contents. Powder of Algos. Lithid. Tuppet Mineral. Philosopher's World. Marker site. Nitrum Flamance. Blah blah blah. Powder of Algos. A white powder of antimonious oxychloride made by precipitation when a solution of butter of antimony is dispersed of salt is poured into water. This is an essential ingredient in the preparation of ice cream containing compounds. Lithid, reddish yellow crystalline form of lead monoxide formed by fusing and powdering massacot. It's another essential ingredient. Tupac mineral, a hydrolyzed form of mercury sulfate, yellow crystalline powder, described by Basil Valentine of the City University, essential in preparation of healing potions. Philosopher's, Philosopher's wool, here it is, this is what it is. Also called Nix Alba, white snow, zinc oxide made by burning zinc in air, called zinc white and used as a pigment, sometimes called white vitriol or zinc sulfate. Described by Basil Valentine, made by lixivating roasted zinc blend, zinc sulfide. Essential ingredient in preparation of healing potions. Marcosite, mineral form of iron disulfide, oxidizes in moist air to green vitriol. Essential ingredient in the pre preparation of Theon Hudor. Nitrum flamance, ammonium nitrate made by Glauber at the City University, an essential ingredient in the preparation of Theon Hudor. Luna cornea, a soft colorless tough mass of silver chloride made by heating horn silver till it forms a dark yellow liquid and then cooling. Described by Oswald Kroll at the City University. Central ingredient in preparation of invisibility potions. Ice copium, Cyprian brass or copper, an essential ingredient in the preparation of invisibility potions. Theon Hudor, Zosimus at the City University refers to this as the divine water or the vinyl of the serpent, a deep reddish yellow liquid made by boiling flowers of sulfur with slaked lime. A caustic but essential ingredient in the preparation of poison antidotes. Aha. Healing potions. Known to alchemy for centuries, healing potions are a liquid resulting from the mixture of topet mineral and philosopher's wool. Healing potions are capable of slowly restoring vigor. Healing potions are also an ingredient in the preparation of other compounds, such as antidotes to the paralysis caused by baric gases and other noxious fumes. Alright, so we need to make Theon Hedor and mix it with a healing potion. So we need marcasite and nitrum flamands. Okay. More philosophers. Well, there's our nitrum flamands. To all chemists from Dr. Cook. In regards to the alchemy station, remember that compounding materials such as powder, alcohol, lithage, turpage mineral, philosophers, wool, marcasite, and nitrum flamands go in the compounder inlet. Lunacornia, ice, cyprium, theon hudor, and healing potions are materials for making finished products. As such, they go in the finisher. This allows the synthesis of alchemical compounds. If you put the ingredients in the wrong chute, they are destroyed and nothing is produced. I'm waiting for a shipment of chemicals this week. Earlier this week, a fresh bottle of Philosopher's Wall should arrive. We have enough of the other chemicals to last the week. Also, would someone please clean up the glassware? It's starting to pile up. Okay. Lithage. Bottle. Don't remember that one in the ingredients list. Linaconia. Powder of Algrath. Tupeth. More bottles. Okay. Lab equipment. 
So that's the compounder and that's the finisher. Okay. Um, does it not work. What did we need first? Uh, Marcasite and Nitrum Flamands. Maybe we can try it, right? I'm just dropping them in. No, it clearly needs power. All right. Okay, looks like a lot of the ones I thought needed keys are actually going to be pickable with the hook lockpick. So that's good news about the keys. Then. So, the lab. Oh, I didn't even mark it locked. Evidence room is unlocked. The so evidence room has uh, X. Passage to lab and steam tunnels. Lab needs power. Somehow. Right, that's just this door, isn't it? Okay then. Anywhere else on the ground floor, I still needed to unlock the door to the stand of the passage. You know, let's go check it out. The door by the front desk. We're going to have an elevator up to heal the hallway. That would have been hilariously funny. But alas. I caught, I caught my mistake just in time. Yes, okay, this is not going to be key either. Ooh, okay, so this is going to be the way to the dungeons, maybe? Electrical controls. No, this is the basement. Oh, right, yeah, there's a locked door at the top of the basement. Okay, so. So it's supposed to be like sensitive to water and it'll reset, right? See that there. Uh, let's read. Let's read the note before we waste our water arrows down. Hey, Gerald! This stupid old mechanist heating system. I'll never get this thing to work. Sure, wish I was back on the streets doing patrol instead of in the steam tunnels trying to fix things. Why do I have to say something? If why do I have to say I knew something about it? I think that if we start fixing all the steam leaks, we might get some heat in this place. If you have time, start with the steam pipes nearest the boiler room. I'll get the ones underneath the station. Henrik. So... Green, red, what? Who? Come up and face me. A deep sin. Someone saw the bodies, I guess. Where are you, you topper? You 
see anything recently? I've been seeing things. Stop! You'll be sorry! He doesn't know how to put... Okay, we've got red, green, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, green, red. Then a big long gap. Okay. Red, green, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, green, red. Aha! Uh -huh. This is the way to the dungeon. Prison activity log. Transfer to dungeon prisoner Marcus to be locked in cells until he admits his guilt. Transfer to dungeon prisoner Dale to be locked in cells once weekly on the rack until he admits his guilt. Execution by hanging a prisoner Brennan for murder. Transfer to dungeon Dirty Helmet, claiming to be Raoul, scheduled to be executed for the murder of Lady Valerius and robbing the Opera House box office. Release of prisoner Barton has been in dungeon long enough. Execution in the gas chamber of prisoner Dickett. Transfer unidentified thief, possibly Garrett, to be executed immediately. Transfer to dungeon of prisoner Gellon for thievery, hands to be broken. Release of prisoner Potsol the Vandal. Which we got. Another guard decided to come into the police station upstairs for some reason. How do we power up the lab to get uh, the antidote ready? <laughs> Nothing here. You think your beloved Woodsy Lord is going to help you now? You're kind of caused enough trouble around here. We're gonna put a stop to it. Man fool, he amps the oaks and leaves, and he will feed us on you. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy watching you burn. <laughs> that, from the sounds of the voices, I'm pretty sure that's unused conversation from Thief 2. Safe if those other thoughts just light me up like a Christmas tree, anyway. Do they even have Christmas trees in this city? They do have illuminated would be thieves. Definitely Raul, uh, we heard. <laughs> oh, this dungeon is big and Controlling nuisances. <laughs> oh, this place is enormous. Come out here now! I'm not kidding.
I see two guards outside the gas chamber. Let's see North End. We'll have a look in there in a minute. We're just counting. Like the dark. Dark for dark business. That business in the city. <laughs> ah, getting these people out is going to be difficult, isn't it? Coming out. Right, that's where I came in. Get safe. Hard to tell. <coughs> no way to be safe anymore. <coughs> no, no. Don't think anyone's nearby. Should be okay. What's the chamber? But it seems like there's no more guards down here, so that's the good news. So I guess I'm like let everybody out of the cells before I finish. But let's try it. Try out lock picks here. Helps if I hit the right hotkeys. There's another guard down there, that's for sure. Two water arrows. Just go through the way to the gas chamber. I do like these bolts too, they're very, uh... Yeah. Just the big, big, big chunky pillars and low arches. It just feels good. It just feels not good. It feels like a deep cellar would be. Are they just gonna stand there? I mean... Do I need to remember the right combination here as well, or what? Oh, my god. Uh, that's got to be the gas chamber. 4567 is the number in it. I'm going to need instructions for this. Okay, but the place is clear. So we can go up and look for instructions. We haven't been into the chief's room. All right, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, we'll free these guys and go see if we can also free Garrett. Find an antidote, let him out, all that, all that good stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. <laughs>